Hello, my name is the Gato Chocolat. I, what do I do? I don't know, I'm like a provocateur, alter, opera, theater, art making being. And um, I've been commissioned to do a little thing here at the V&A for Friday Late. So I believe that drag or where I'm at or how I got here is really sort of odd and meandering. I was going to be a lawyer. That's what I studied at Sussex Uni, but um, the, the sound of the beckon of, um, of drama, opera, was much louder, thank God, because that's how I've ended up here. So um, it hasn't been a sort of college drag deliver. It's been a series of really wonderful mistakes. I think I always start from music in my practice. I let music lead me into how I might want to shape a piece or make a piece. Um, and then I have some really wonderful collaborators who then have an eye on um, costume or design or music and they help me sort of articulate what's in my brain. The performance I've made for the v and um, Friday Late, hmm, I suppose it was rooted in what we've all just collectively been through in the last 15 to 18 months and how I feel the world has changed. So I, I, I like to believe without being sort of morbidly um, somber about it, um, I try to make this about grief, our collective grief. Coronavirus was there for a long time and we were reading about it and reading about it and then it was in my family and we lost two family members. But I just thought about our collective humanity because this is the first time in our lifetime, in this generation, that we've all experienced the exact same thing at the exact same time. That was kind of in my head and heart as I went to make this piece. The grief is in Purcell's extraordinary composition. It's from an opera called Dido and Aeneas, and um, this aria is called When I Am Laid. And without having to... I mean, the opening lines are, When I am laid, I'm laid in earth. May my wrongs create no trouble, no trouble in thy breast. And there is magic in it, there's pain in it, there's sorrow, there's humanity. So Purcell, in terms of the grief, Purcell does all the heavy lifting. I find and found it rather interesting to juxtapose joy and happiness because I suppose for all of us still here, we have to find our way out on the other side. We've got to still find our way, live with the grief, but sort of celebrate life as well. And that's why I chose this look to accompany Purcell's glorious music and lyrics. The balloons featuring in the piece speak to our, our collective understanding of naivete and also joy. Um, because the, the, the music and the lyrics are incredibly somber, the imagery is also about hope. The balloons and the look are doing something else dramaturgically as going, yes, we, we, we bid those who've left us farewell, but those who are still here must live and celebrate life. So yeah, I think, I think that's, that's what I was going for. The interesting thing about using the V&A Museum is that every room and every space and the, a sort of an adventure, but also I haven't really been in any room thus far that sort of holds my identity. I feel like I have a responsibility with a marginalized identity to make some important statements. So that is always kind of at the fore when I decide to make work. I always think about how as a British Nigerian gay man, I didn't see myself in theater or in spaces like this. So that is part of the conversation for me. I think about that. But I also then think about, as well as that, what else can we talk about that's not just about me and my identity? And 
The most extraordinary thing is what the globe is going through. The fact that we had to be meters apart for over 12 months. There was an alchemical wonder of all these things that meant that what I'm doing is about the moment that we're in.